Hello my dear friend, here I have a really crazy looking question. Uh, justify L plus L equals to L and L minus L equals to L. Well, again I'm telling you we are learning physics not mathematics. Alright, so let me start. Here, uh, you know, L as we are learning dimension, so these all L represents length, you know, the fundamental physical quantity length they represent. So from here what we should understand that whenever you are adding length with length, you will get always and always length. Alright, this is what it means and this means uh, you might be using your mathematics that l minus l that's gonna be zero right well we're learning physics brother so it's length so when you were you're subtracting from length another length then you are supposed to get a length again all right you got it it's something like you know you have some cows and from those cows you're subtracting few cows then definitely you'll get some cows you won't get here buffalo <laughs> do you think you'll get here buffalo no way from cows if you're subtracting cows you'll get cows right let's say you have some cows a uh, couple of hundreds of cows and few of them died then again you'll get cows the left one will not be buffalo you know so it's simply this means all right uh, we should not think this as a mathematically if, if we were learning mathematics I might have said oh yo 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 yes 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 you're right uh, because uh, x minus x that's zero all right yes but the same length if you subtract then definitely you'll get zero that's also uh, one one good point okay 